And now, insurance-minded speeches from GEICO. Hardship. My grandmother would go through it every month to pay her insurance bill. First, she would handwrite a paper check, in cursive. Then, using her own tongue, she would wet a stamp for an envelope. Today, however, we need not weary our hands and tongues. Today, we can pay our GEICO bill with the GEICO app. Away with hardship, in with bill pay on the GEICO app. Thank you. This is episode 907 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the big game hunter, and welcome. You know, stories are so important in interviewing. You may not think you have a story, but I give you a format here that I think will help you relate your episodes in your career very effectively. Hope you find this show helpful. Please give it five stars on iTunes or Stitcher. It helps other people discover the show because, frankly, Apple advantages people with lots of recommendations. So I'd appreciate it. And by the way, speaking of recommendations, if you'd like to give me one on LinkedIn, I'd really appreciate that as well. If we're connected there, go to linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game. Hunter, uh, and leave a recommendation for me or uh, endorse me for certain things. And if we're not connected, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Now let's get going. You know, when many people uh, put their kids to sleep, they tell stories. The, the stories are designed to engage the child and also to relax them. As adults, we forget the power of stories. And there's no place more powerful to tell stories than in the workplace, particularly on an interview. Now, there's a format to effective interview stories, and you need to be prepared for every interview with a couple of stories that might be relevant to the job that you're recruit- uh, being recruited for or being interviewed for. So the format and it goes by the acronym of SOAR. You start off with the situation that you've been involved with. You know, what did you step into? What was the problem that you were asked to address? You know, the action that you took. What steps did you take in order to solve that problem? Um, I'm sorry, the obstacles. I, I went out of sequence. So the situation that you stepped into, the obstacles that you overcame to deal with those situations the actions that you took, and the results. Now, results need to be quantified. You know, you can't just say, and everyone lived happily ever after. Uh, You can joke about that on an interview. You know, you don't start off with once upon a time, but you do, you know, start off with the situation you're involved with, the obstacles that you were facing, the actions that you took, and the results that you achieved quantified by money earned or money saved wherever possible. Quantifying using metrics, there's no better way to stand out from your competition because your competition often isn't using that. And when an employer is trying to evaluate what you did, as a recent guest of mine on Job Research Radio said, you know, we're looking for measurements of results. So whether it's the size and scope of our project that you were involved with, or the results of what you did, numbers are real important. So follow that format of situation, obstacles, actions, and results, and your interviews will definitely soar. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here's a few ways that I can be of help to you. First of all, if you're interested in one-on-one coaching from me, help with interview preparation, or with assistance on a salary negotiation, email me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us in the subject line. Tell me what it's about, coaching, interview prep, salary negotiation, whatever it is, just put it in the subject line, and in the body, just tell me what's going on, and we'll schedule a time to speak. Next, if you're interested in resume and LinkedIn profile reviews, critiques and such, or a job search makeover where I review every aspect of what you've been doing in your search and try and help you make corrective action one time, 
You can find out about it at my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. Look for the tab on top that indicates the kind of service that you want. Click through, place the order, and we'll get to work right away. And, and there's always JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I have curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Plus, through the site, for one price, you can also ask me questions as well. Again, that site is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back with more soon, and in the meantime, have a great day. Take care. Napa know-how. Napa guy knows not to judge a man by his car's multicolor paint job or absence of modern gadgetry. Who cares if it's technically old enough to vote and the windows are powered by the strength of your left arm? Your monthly payment is zero, and it'll stay that way. Because with over 500,000 parts and a little Napa know-how, you can keep anything on the road. She may not be pretty, but she's all yours. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how.